tell y'all something. Even when I'm not having the best day, okay, even when I'm not feeling the best, even on a day like today when my allergies are kicking my butt, okay, kicking my butt, I'm still glad to be here. And when I hear that music, it gets me a little crunk up in my spirit. So, Sky Squad, we are officially back in the building. I'm so thankful to be in front of you guys today. Today, we're going to be talking about a couple of things, y'all. We got to talk about your girl, Jocelyn. She didn't clap back at Candace. She got wind of what Candace had to say. Okay, we're going to talk about that. Uh, your girl, Ashley Darby, is going off. She's going off about the parents disciplining their kids and how they do it. It's an interesting subject. And then I got to talk about something that's really bothering me, but I'm going to wait and I'm going to hold on to that for one second. Um, you know, we'll get to that first, though. We'll get to that first. Um, and I'm not going to hold y'all long today because, you know, your boy ain't feeling well. But before we get into that, drop down in that good chatterization and let me know where you guys are watching from. T-G-I-F, California cutie. Let us know where you guys are watching from. We got Greenville, Mississippi in the His Nye Compton, California. Come on, Sky Squad, Flower Mound, Texas, San Antonio, Jamaica, New Haven, Connecticut, New Jersey, Richmond, Virginia, up in the place, Queens, New York, New Orleans, New Orleans, Trinidad, Virgin Islands, New Jersey, B Moore, New York, Dayton, Ohio, Detroit, Atlanta in the building. A, 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 A in the A. We got Tay King with this super chat. Thank you so much, Boo. We appreciate you. Who else is up in this good place? Dallas. We got Germany, Jamaica, Queens, Louisiana, Coleyville, Charlotte, Switzerland in the place. Come on now. Berkeley, California, D.C., Silver Spring, Pittsburgh, Antwerp. Hey, y'all coming up in the building today. Listen, come on, Vegas. Um, let's go ahead and get down to the business, okay? A couple of things to talk about. Want to get this first topic off my chest because it don't make no sense to me, okay? Don't make no sense to me. I don't understand it, but we're going to get into it. Now, chime down in the chatterization if you guys are watching that good couples retreat on the VH1, okay? Just chime down in the chatterization and let me know if you are watching couples retreat down to the VH to the one, Okay? Now, the reason I'm asking this question, I don't watch it. I'm going to be real with you. I ain't watching it. But this clip is making the rounds on that good Instagram, and it done set my soul ablaze, okay? It set my soul ablaze. And let me tell you why, okay? Because a lot of y'all know we have covered, you know, uh, lo uh, loving hip-hop on this channel. And we'll continue to do so when they actually decide to film another season, okay? Um, but... In the here and now, okay, they're doing the couples retreat on VH1. And Yandy and Mendeecees, okay, are on the show along with a couple of other couples from the Love & Hip Hop franchises, all right? Now, one of the things you all know is that uh, Yandy done held that man all the way down. She held that man all the way down the entire time he was locked up. She held the family down, his family down, all of it. OK, so he get up on this show and he talking about, OK, from what I understand and from what I gather from the clip that I saw, how he felt like she wasn't answering his calls enough. OK, while she running around trying to take care of the kids, trying to take care of the businesses and trying to hold them down. He complaining, you know, a little bit about how he not get enough attention from her while he behind the bars. OK, now, first things first. Now, listen, my brother, I just feel like one of these things you should be grateful that a woman is just holding you down like that. She ain't trying to leave. She got the she went in the household, got the kids doing the thing for the family and everything. So why he hop up on this thing? OK, she wants to know. She wants to know whether or not if if she was in the same situation, if the situation was reversed, OK, if the situation was reversed, would he hold her down just the same? OK, just the same. And do you know what this man had the nerve to say? Do you know what he had the nerve to say? He said, if the shoe was on the other foot, you know, I don't know what I would be able to do. With. For real. 
So Yandy starts to crying, okay, and then in her green screen interview, she says, so Mendici finally admitted that he doesn't know if he would have stayed if the roles were reversed. And that's so hurtful because people have said to me, you're doing all this, but would he do that for you? And I've always combated that with, he would, we love each other, okay? She tells him that it's unfair. Now, let me pop back on the screen for a second. What kind of sense does this make to y'all? What kind of sense does this make to y'all? I don't understand. I don't understand that one bit because to me, I feel like if you got a, if you got a partner that's willing to, to hold you down while you locked up for some stuff you did, you put the family in that situation, like, no, 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 player, no, no, no. I don't care what you feel like in that moment, okay? That's not the way you respond to this question. So let me tell you. Then he wrote on the Instagram, and I got to follow it up because I got to let y'all know what he has said, okay? He says, good afternoon, Instagram. FYI, I never said I wouldn't have held Yandy down. I felt like I didn't want to say what everybody wanted me to say because it sounds good and salacious. What? You mean to tell me if you had said you would hold her down, that sounds good and salacious? It sounds good. It don't sound salacious. It sounds like what you should have said. OK, then he goes on to say what I meant was you don't know what you'll do until you're in that situation and they become your circumstances and you have to figure it out. I believe actions speak louder than words and love conquers all. And if anybody knows me, they know I love my family. However, thank you for tuning in to VH1 Couples Retreat. Make sure y'all tune in next week at 8 p.m. Now, here's my thing about the whole situation. You know, it is true that you don't know what you will do while, until you are in a situation. Um, but I can probably guarantee she ain't going to put you in that situation. OK, that's number one. Number two, even if you and y'all, y'all might disagree with me on this one. And I got to tell you how, but I got to I got to be truthful. Even if you felt in your spirit that you didn't know what you would do, the correct answer to that question is, I would absolutely do the same for you. What woman or man would want to hear you say, well, I don't know if I would do the things that you did for me while I was locked up. I don't know if I could do those things <laughs> like that's cute or something. It's not. It's not. Brother. It's like all you had to do, you had one job in this moment. Lie, okay? If you can't think, and I hate to say it, normally I would not advise anybody to lie in a situation like this. I wouldn't, I wouldn't. But just give her something so that she at least feels good about the time that she spent holding you down in that situation. That's just me. That's just me. I mean, even if you don't know if you got a little un uncertainty in your brain, go ahead and tell her. Go ahead and tell her what you want to hear in that moment. Okay, uh, you can figure it out for yourself later in therapy. Okay, do that later. But I mean, not the not the therapy on the TV. Okay, the therapy that you're taking into your in, in, your, in the privacy of your of your of the therapist's office back in New York. Okay, that's when you get that out. But not in front of her and not embarrass her on national TV like that. After she didn't just did everything for like, I don't get it. I was I was too through with him. And y'all know I wasn't even going to talk about this because, number one, I ain't watching it. But because I'm invested in the two of them, because I have watched the shows um, that they were on, it's the love and hip hop shows, the actual shows. I felt like it was burning up in my spirit. So I had to address it with y'all today. Sorry. Um. Queen Paradise says, yeah, I know that's right. Amen to that. I mean, you know, right. Wanda says, yes. Wait, Wanda says, yes, I agree. Lie. And we will deal with the real answer later. Not on the national team. Not right now. Not right now. Not right now. OK, you know, and the thing about it is, you know, Yandy, Yandy need her. I mean, not to say that he I mean, listen. I'm sure he loves her. That ain't the question. That is not the question. It is the answer that he gave right then and there. Because guess what? He need to be like a papoose. Y'all saw the way papoose that ha had held Remy down. Papoose. <laughs> now that's what you that's what you want right there. Don't don't you gotta you gotta learn from papoose. If you ain't learned nothing else, learn from the papoose. Okay. <sighs> 
Sorry, y'all. I, it just had gotten up in my spirit. And again, y'all know I normally wouldn't even be talking about this. Um, <laughs> case Stone, I see those guns popping out. Richie, happy Friday. Thank you so much. I don't be working out a little bit. I try to work out before I do my videos, but sometimes I feel like they'll be leaving a little, me a little tired sometimes. So I might have to change my workout schedule. I don't know. But thank you. I appreciate you for for uh for you know <laughs> seeing that. That made me feel a little good today. Um, we got Sharon with the super chat who says that's not something Yandy should have ever asked him in that public a form. Well, I mean, you could be right about that too, but I mean. I'm sure she was expecting to hear something different. And listen, he wasn't going to give it to her that day. And I just feel like, dang, my brother. I mean, you could at least have covered her in that moment. And I just felt like he kind of left her hanging out there like, girl, I don't know if I do that for you. Whew. Thank you for that super chat, though. All right. So let's move on. Let's move on. OK. Now, y'all remember. The other day, yesterday, I ain't going to play it again for y'all, but we talked about how we talked about how Wendy Williams. Oh, wait, hold on. We got another super chat from Affairs of the Heart, who says he did express it made him uncomfortable when she was going when she was going to jail during the protest before this show. Oh, it made him a little uncomfortable. OK, but the fact of the matter is she wasn't there for years okay she was in what they like to call good trouble okay which is you know bringing attention to a an issue that the movement was fighting for right but to be fair you know that is something that you know we must acknowledge so we appreciate the super chat and thank you for calling that out as well all right so back to um back to uh Wendy and Jocelyn. So you know they had gotten to the on-air public squabble or whatever they did, right? Okay. I thought it made for good TV. I was here for it. I felt like it ended up in a draw. I told y'all that. Now, um, you know, Candace from the Real Housewives of Potomac, she has some things to say. She felt like don't go on the Wendy Williams show if you are not prepared to deal with Wendy Williams is going to give you. OK. Let me acknowledge the super chat. Angel says he was uncomfortable because he thought he would have to step up. Ooh, 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 Angel, Angel coming through with a super chat. OK. Um, And I have to bring up this video, OK, Um, to show you exactly what. Um, it, the, y'all, the visual is going to give you some context to something that, to the, to the clapback that Jocelyn has. So anyway, Candace basically came out in agreement with it, you know, but she did, I got to qualify it with, she did say that she loves Jocelyn. She acknowledged her hustle or whatever, but then she went on to talk about how reality TV stars and people of, you know, in, in the entertainment world need to understand that this is Wendy's job. Wendy's just doing her job. And again, I had said, too, that this is a very different. I mean, it seems like a very different Candace than the Candace that we had gotten last year. But we all here for the growth and everything like that. OK, but she also said that she knew she might get some flack for it. OK, and flack she did get. OK, because Jocelyn had a little bit of a. um of a, of a clap back of her own, okay? So Jocelyn, thanks to our friends over at the Reality TV Source on Instagram. Please follow them, guys, the Reality TV Source. So then Jocelyn, I'm not sure where this me where this message was or where, this, uh, where her comment was, uh, where it first appeared. It might've appeared on, uh, I didn't see it on this page, but they happened to catch it. Jocelyn says, you mean to tell me you got a face full of makeup just to say this? You paid $300 to talk about me? Girl, mind your business. Big bank take little bank, including taking Wendy's. <sighs> Diamond D says it was on the neighborhood talk. Okay, thank you, boo. Appreciate you. Now, listen, <laughs> uh, 
Oh, Jocelyn, Jocelyn, Jocelyn. Okay. Um, first of all, you gotta know Jocelyn ain't gone. You know, Jocelyn is gonna come back with a clap back. You know what I'm saying? She's gonna come back with a clap back. Now, it wasn't as <laughs> wait, 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 wait. KL says Jocelyn giving me Trump checks, okay? <laughs> I'm sorry, that had tickled me for a second. Um, so yeah, I mean, I feel like let me tell y'all, I'm gonna tell y'all the honest truth how, how I feel right now. I feel like Candace is doing the right thing in the in this moment, and let me say why I said that. Okay, because I feel like you know, when it's time for the show to start back coming around, right? You gotta get some headlines, right? You gotta get your get your name back out there. So I feel like, okay. PR wise, it's a smart little play to get yourself involved. Okay, now you got yourself involved with a little beef with Jocelyn. I felt like, okay, boom, back in the news, easy breezy. So Jocelyn claps back. She don't come back as hard as I think she's gonna come back because you know Jocelyn can come. I mean, she can. We didn't see her go there with some people, but she kind of gave a little light light in this situation. And I think Jocelyn right now at this point in time is being like, OK, I'm just going I'm just trying to make these boss moves out here in the streets. OK, so maybe that's why the clap back wasn't as hard as I was anticipating. You know what I'm saying? Right. Dana says she was actually nice. I expected worse. I was expecting worse, too, to be quite honest with you. But she did go a little light light on him. So. End up, though. Candace caught wind of it <laughs> and gave us a little eyes and heart and hug emoji. Now, I like this little beef right here. I mean, it, it, it ain't nothing too serious. It ain't nothing too dark and too deep. You know what I'm saying? Not too. Uh, it ain't nothing toxic or nothing like that. It's a little light, light for us. Um, but I like it. I like it. It's unexpected. Came out of nowhere. And it keep it, you know, it keep us from being bored. You know what I'm saying? Keep us from being bored. I like it. I'm here for it. Okay. So we'll just have to see what happens moving forward. But I think this is probably about the end of it for the two of them. You know what I'm saying? End of the road. Now, we're going to move on along. We got some more Potomac news to give y'all, okay? Um, I want to get into... Give me oh. one second. I need to figure out how to remove this. Oh, remove that. Okay. Um, We got to talk about Ashley. Now, this is a little bit of a serious topic. Um, so y'all bear with me on this one, okay? And what we're going to talk about right now is Body. Ashley had made a post, okay, on her Instagram talking about I'm gonna read it to you. Let me give me one second. I gotta read it. I'm not gonna put it on the screen because I just kind of feel like it's. I gotta keep the the content family friendly, if you know what I'm saying. Um, but it was basically in reference to disciplining your kids. Okay, so she made a post that says, "Stop disciplining your kids." If you can believe in the development of science for physical health, understand the research about mental health. Corporal punishment is unnecessarily traumatic. Break the cycle. So when I say corporal punishment, y'all know what I'm talking about, right? Give me an affirmative if you understand what I mean when I say corporal punishment, okay? Y'all know what I'm saying. And I see people have some divergent beliefs in this, um, in the chatterization. Comment down below if you experienced corporal punishment as a child. You know what? Okay, I see. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Good. We, we're on the same page. Comment Also comment down below if you were on the receiving end of corporal punishment as a child. Like if you received it. Because I did. I ain't going to even lie. I did. And you know, I mean, it is what it is. If I was bad, if I did something bad, it was bad enough, then you know... I received it, okay? Um, and I'm just going to be real with y'all about that. Now, to a certain degree, I feel like I feel like I turned out to be a pretty well-adjusted adult, you know what I'm saying, um, in, in light of the fact that I did experience that. But, you know, I don't know. 
Um, so the reason why we're going to talk about this today is because it's making the rounds in the news today. So I'm going to give you guys the, the video that she posted that's making this rounds. And we're going to talk about it because it comes into, you know, a lot of people feel like it's 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 bordering on criticizing the way people parent. And so I just want to uh, see what you guys think about it. So we're going to get into it right now coming to you rough and raw right now there have been a lot of responses about the slide that i posted regarding how antiquated outdated and unnecessary is to children there have been a lot of insults to me about how and i did bleep out certain words or phrases that i might feel might be inflammatory so just bear with the video okay look there is a little edit here that's disclaimer but it is to protect the ears okay oh i'm a new parent what do i know i'm trying to tell everybody what to do x y and z but for the most part there's been an overwhelmingly positive response where people are agreeing and it makes me so happy to know that we are evolving that we are learning and we are doing better for those of you who are continuing to stand by believing and perpetuating the idea that showing physical pain is also showing love, which is just so counterintuitive and backwards if you actually think about it, I encourage you to do some research. Look into the extensive research that has been done about children's development and the negative ramification, the negative ramification later in life. Now, I don't know why it's okay to children, but yet that's not okay to do to adults. Are you really saying that the only way that you can help a child learn to do the right thing and to be moral is by inflicting pain on them? No, that's wrong. And you are minimizing and you are completely missing just how intelligent children are and how the brain actually works, okay? Also, I wish that you could do some research about people who are. So she goes on to talk about people who get in trouble with the law. OK, just to give you guys some uh, context about where she's going right now in this part. They all work. They all endured physical punishment as children. That is does not yield healthy, happy humans. This hurts me because. There is just so much, so much that we can do to be more effective with our discipline. By no means am I saying that you shouldn't show your child the difference between right and wrong and help them to be good people and help them to do the right thing in society. By no means am I saying that everyone needs guidance, but it is a shortcut. It doesn't actually address a problem. It doesn't actually help your child to rationalize, think through and apply logical problem solving later down the road. It's a shortcut. And even though it can be hard on you as a parent and you feel so bad doing it, da, 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 which should also be an indication to you that you are doing something that's not right. There are better ways. And I'm passionate about it and I'm not gonna stop talking about it. I love you guys, I really do. And hurting each other, no matter how old a person is, is just not right. Well, 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 well. I mean, here's my thing about this situation. And shout out to our friends over at OMFG Reality TV for uh, resharing this post. I, it's difficult for me. I'm not a parent. Um, you know, I have a dog. Um, but, you know, for me, I kind of feel like it's very difficult when you start trying to police how other people raise their kids. Um, and it's a tricky subject when you decide that you want to go on a crusade for how that is done. And I just think that she's walking down a tricky road. But she's entitled to her beliefs. You know, she is entitled 100 cent to, to her beliefs and what she would choose to do. But I also feel like you you start walking a thin line when you start to really kind of criticize what other people do with their kids. OK, uh, Angel White says the new age mother by Ashley. It's a big difference between chastising and that. Absolutely. Thank you for that super chat. We got another one from Jacqueline Levette. Thank you so much for the super chat. Hey, 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 we appreciate the love. 
Um, I don't know. I feel like, you know, I, I see a lot of people, you know, in the comments talking about how she's a new mother. So, you know, she has a lot of opinions for a new mother. And it's interesting. Uh, I saw somebody else say that you that they that you thought she should write a book. Um, that would be interesting for her as well. You know, it's interesting. I wonder if this is going to be a topic of conversation that comes up on the Real Housewives of Potomac this season, because it will be interesting to see how the other ladies sort of respond to that and if they'll view it as criticism. Um, we have another super chat who says, I received it as a child and as an adult, I don't understand how it will touch them not to hit another person. Corporal teaching came from the slave way of thinking. Thank you so much for that super chat. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I guess I would say this. You know, I feel like you as a parent really have to decide what works for you and your household. And, you know, and leave it at that. You know, it's interesting because I feel like, you know, she says in her statements that there's a direct correlation between corporal punishment and, you know, uh, some of the acts that may put people in jail and stuff like that. Um, I don't know. It's interesting. You know, we can watch television and we can see how some people, you know, don't discipline their kids in any way, shape or form. And they don't always turn out to be the best either. So. I don't know what the correct way is. All I can tell you is what I experienced and how I feel like I turned out. And that's it. That's all I can do. Um, thank you so much, E-Rob. Keep doing your thing. We appreciate the super chat. Um, so, yeah, it's it's interesting. But I guess it's something that I, it came out of nowhere for me. I don't know where, where it stemmed from. Um, I don't know. I don't know. But it was making the rounds today. And I thought it would be an interesting topic for conversation because I feel like it is serious. It is something that I feel like people feel very divided about. And it's a very personal thing for a lot of people, especially a lot of parents. Um, and again, I'm not a parent, so I can't really say, you know, what the correct thing to do is. I can, again, only tell you my experience and for me, I received corporal punishment. Uh, it wasn't all the time. It was only if I it only in a very serious, you know, uh, situation where I might have acted out. But I didn't get it done. I mean, it wasn't like too much as a child. Uh, Natasha, thank you for the super chat. He's 23, never been in trouble. He's well mannered, respectful, and respected. He is soon to be an officer in the Air Force. Amen. Shout out to you, Natasha, for raising a upstanding young man who was going out to do great things. We, we love to see that. It's a, it's an interesting topic. I would love to see a discussion about that on the Royal Housewives of Potomac this season to see how they maneuver through that. Um, because that is something that's real. It's not, that's not a fake topic, you know, so that would be very interesting. All right, guys. So listen, thank you so much for tuning in to today's video. I am going to go lay myself down. Um, I might take some allergy medicine. I don't know. I'm trying not to take anything else today, but I got Your boy got to get some rest. Um, and I'm just going to watch movies for the rest of the afternoon, y'all. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take it easy. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's video. Y'all make sure y'all have a great weekend. Y'all know how much I love y'all and I appreciate every time we get a chance to talk together. I really appreciate y'all for tuning in. And with that being said, I will catch you in the next video.